It's been 15 years since I posted my first video on my YouTube channel and this is the first one where I've appeared personally. That's because today is a very exciting day. Today I'm picking up my new Tesla Model 3 and I thought it would be interesting to record that for posterity, mainly for my own purposes, but I hope it, you find it interesting as well. My current car is an Audi A3 e-tron, which I bought back in 2015, and I had originally intended to keep it until 2023. But I realised there were some tax advantages if in 2022 I could buy a new car. And so in February I started looking. I set up a virtual sales call with Tesla for the 9th of February. And at that time, it was showing delivery for the end of March. But I wanted to organise a test drive to find out whether the car would fit in the garage. As you'll see in a minute, um, there is quite tight space for it to fit into. And so I couldn't arrange that until the 23rd of February. And over the previous weekend, the delivery slipped from March to August. Anyway, I took the test drive on the 23rd. I managed to try the car in the garage and confirmed that I couldn't actually get out of the car when the car was parked in the garage, although it would go in the garage quite reasonably. As a result, I decided that I was going to order with the summon option. I already have an EV outlet in my garage to charge my current e-tron, but it's going to be interesting to see whether that's going to work and I can get the Tesla into the garage or whether ultimately I'm going to have to have a second one installed and have the Tesla parked on the drive. That's the big unknown today and the thing that I'm most interested in finding out about. So this is my garage and as you can see in order to fit both cars out in and get it out from the middle my wife has to drive in backwards and I drive in forwards. I'm parked quite a lot way over to the left side of the garage in order to fit and my charger is here now as you can see the cable is easily long enough to reach the Tesla port which would be here if I reversed into the garage or over on this far corner if I go in forwards we have yet to see which way I'll do it but that cable will easily reach along the left side of the car and into a charge port here at the back. So here we are inside our Audi. Let's set off to Blue Water then. And here we are arriving at Blue Water. Can we see the Tesla sign? Ah, oh, yes. There it is. Let's go and see where we can park. first impressions it's very dusty um, but I've had a quick look around and it looks all right otherwise just take you quickly round it and we'll try and get inside in a minute well, I just got inside the car. Now I have to figure everything out. Okay, let's have a look in the boot and things first. So we'll open the boot. And go and have a look. See what we've got in there. Right. 
So we've got some mud guards. Don't know what they are. Some sort of charging thing. And under here, Tesla bag with Tesla bag with first aid kit and stuff like that in it. That's it for that. Let's um, close that. Now open the... we have here charging cables and granny charger the charger so let's try it and close it And I notice we've got interior mats. Despite them saying that they don't come with a car. Right. Let's um, put this down for a moment and try and connect the phone up and everything else. Well, I'm currently sitting at the supercharger in Blue Water. I had to queue for it, basically because the car had very little charge in it and it was so little that I wouldn't have got home. So I'm sitting here charging, at the moment it's charging at about 57 kilowatts which according to the display is adding 257, 256 miles an hour into the battery um, and I'm currently now at 23%. Um, I thought you could tap on the battery and get it to change to the percentage to Mars. Yes, you can. Oh, it's rebooted. Uh, no, it's all right. Okay, so it's currently saying I've got a range of 66 miles. That should be enough to get home, but I'm inclined now to give it a bit longer perhaps um, half full. Here we are on the motorway using the enhanced autopilot with the navigate function and as I come to this turning where we branch off to go up the A23 it automatically selects the correct lane and takes me up here, slowing me down for the corner. Here.
as we approach my house, now, now is the time for the moment of truth. Can we park in the garage with someone? Let's find out. <laughs> I didn't manage to record me using Summon on the day. It was successful, but here is a recording of me doing it a few days later. Okay, let's do that again from the aspect of being inside the car. So I'm going to open the garage door. I'm going to move the car forward a little bit to be in position. But I'm, I'm not so far in that I can't get out. It's just slightly more convenient not to have to summon it quite so far. So I'm going to leave this here and go on in control the car from my iPad and see if I can. I haven't done that yet.
as you can see, moderate success. I have to keep trying it if it fails, but it does come in and out without any problems. So for now, I'm happy. Goodbye.